Hi everybody, I'm Tammy from iCraft Vinyl. Today we're going to be doing a stainless steel bottle. We're going to be adding an image onto this plain bottle so we'll have some design on it. Here's a sample of a previous project that I worked on using HTV on a stainless steel bottle and I actually was able to do layers if you can see by the black. I use white and a little bit of a purple color so if you can layer onto these stainless steel bottles. On today's bottle, we're going to be using a simple design that I picked up from Cricut's Design Space. I've cut out my design, and I'm going to go ahead and weed it out for you. Weed these. And today I'm using iCraft Finals Matte Hot Pink. I thought that it would do a great contrast because this bottle already has a design and like I mentioned in the other video it weeds very nicely. All I'm doing is pulling it off and I'm just going to be a little more careful with some of these letters so that everything doesn't pull up but it's real easy to work with. I have my design weeded, so now we're going to put the placement onto our bottle. So I'm placing it right around here, and we're just going to hold down on it. Now for this project, you can use various items. They have mini irons that you can use, but today I'm going to just use a house iron. Alright, so we're going to start ironing it on using tissue paper because even though we have this clear protective layer it makes it a lot easier and smoother when using the iron make sure you have your iron on five with no steam and we're just gonna go ahead and add some pressure this might take a little longer than when you're doing a shirt or cloth material but in my other projects that I've done, using HTV, it still lasts a long time on the bottle. I have put it in the dishwasher, and it still lasted. And maybe someday I'll do a comparison between using HTV versus outdoor vinyl. Almost got my finger there. Careful with your fingers. Let me do this. And like I mentioned, you can use the mini irons. And if you have the smaller bottles, that might help you get in a little better. But for this, this is working out just fine. So you're gonna press for a while. And then you just kind of check it periodically. You'll see that it's starting to stick in the middle. So you're just going to keep on. And you want to apply a lot of pressure. And just kind of keep a steady, steady stroke on it. Just so that you're getting the whole design. We're just about done ironing this because I can see that all the edges are sticking on. And once we're done... We're going to let it sit for a couple of minutes to cool off before we peel it off. This project, being the bigger bottle, and with the pressure I'm using, took about, I'd say about five to seven minutes of ironing the image on. It can vary on the type of vinyl that you're using. I've found that glitter vinyls tend to adhere a lot quicker. So it all depends on the material you're using, but it takes about that long. So now we're just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes before we peel it off. All right, feels cool to the touch, so we're just gonna go ahead and start peeling slowly. 
can see how that's coming out. And there you go. And here you have your own personalized water bottle. Hope you like this project and if you liked our video, be sure to like it and subscribe to iCraft Vinyl. Thank you.